Hi friends, today review on electric traction in India will be discussed. So first, the, how the railways entered India and then how the electrification or the electrical technology entered the railways and the how what is the technical aspects of electrification in India or electrification in railways in the world and how we have adopted that technicality or in electrifying the railways from other countries to India and all these things will be discussed in this video. Let us first move on to how the railways entered India. Yeah, railways in India started in April 1853 with three lines. The first line is from Bombay to Kalyan. It is 32 miles and the second one is Calcutta to Ranigans. It is 130 miles distance and the third one is from Madras to Arakonam. It is 39 miles. So these are the first railway lines in 1853. After that actually railways has been come under the private sector in those days with the lease of 99 years but there is a clause in that lease and the clause is after every 25 years government can government can have the study on the railways and they can purchase any number of lines from the railways and that is the clause in the lease so based on that in 1920 a committee has been appointed to study the nationalization of the whole railway system so they decided to nationalize the whole railway system that means they want to convert it into government sector and a committee is appointed such that the is it economical or not and is it necessary to take over the whole system whole railways or not so all these things have been given by this committee and based on the sources of this committee in 1925 in 1925 the process has been started so taking over the railways and it has been ended up around 25 years completely to reorganize the system and rename the system according to journal wise so this is the main era of indian railways where start, it has started from 1853 and in 1920 a committee has been Pointed and based on the sifferses in 1925 onwards the process has been started in nationalizing the Indian Railways and finally it ended up at around 25 years to take over the railways completely and let us see the electric traction in India when the electric traction entered India so this is in 1925 to 32 the electric traction has been entered and this is around 304 root kilometer or 692 track kilometer and the second line is 62 root kilometer or 210 track kilometer and the third line is 32 root kilometer and 77 track kilometer root kilometer means it is just the shortest route from one point to other point the track kilometer is where we need to we need to run the track so the track distance is 692 kilometer in the first case 6210 kilometer in the second case and 77 kilometer in third case so what is the first case the first case is in central railway and that was bombay vt2 igatpuri and Bombay VT to Pune. So these are the first lines in 1925 in Central Railways. This is, this is the electric traction. That means electricity is used to move the train here. And in this is in the second route. This was in Western Railways, and it is from Churchgate, Mumbai Churchgate to Virar. And the third route is. 
this is a meter gauge third root is a meter gauge so the above two things are the broad gauge and third gauge third one is meter gauge and this is from madras beach to tambaram so these are the main electric lines erected in 1925 to 32 so the total of 398 root kilometer or 979 track kilometers was erected in 1925 to 32 and but they are static up to two decades that means up to two decades there is no development and same routes are, are running for 20 years okay and that is the thing and after that it has been changed so again we need to go back to 1920 here we need to discuss the railway system in Calcutta and that is entirely different from other railway systems so 1920 his electrification around Calcutta was studied so how it will be and why is it required or not and how much it need, we need to take up all these studies have been started in 1920 but it has been 1954 to have a real scenario to erect the electric railway system in in and around Calcutta yeah when when in 1954 it is seven years from independence so the traffic has been increased three times in these seven years only so that's why the Indian government has decided to have electric traction from Calcutta and those routes are Howrah to Burdwan and Shora Fuli to Tarakeshwar. So these are the two main lines. So before that we have already discussed those lines from Bombay and Madras and all these things are the urban routes or suburban routes. But these are the main lines. So it has much distance. So here 3000 DC system has been used. Okay, previously also we have used 3000 DC system. So up to up to this point in 1954, 3000 DC system is used. So the final thing is in 1958 actually these lines have been started in 1954 and ended up in 1958. So at the end of the 1958. The total of 142 route kilometers or 443 track kilometers were completed in and around Calcutta. This, this figure is only for Calcutta. The above figure is other than Calcutta. Okay, the, pre, the, the above figure is come with previous slide and the below figures are with these slides. So, this is the total scenario in India. So let us see the technical features why you is DC or AC and which one is good which one is bad and how we have get the information and what are the uh, real uh, research was going on and all these things will be discussed in technical features. So in 1932 itself single phase 50 cycle system was used in Hungary. Okay that is the starting point in uh, AC system. Previous to that DC system is used but in for, uh, the first time in 1932 in Hungary single phase 50 cycle system is used but it is not that much satisfactory in operation and also in economical point of view and the same observation has been done in 1936 by Germany and it has 35 miles Holenthal railway in black forest and they have erected this one but this is also not that much good but the experiments were conducted continuously as after the that is the period when the second world war was completed and the so called French this Hungary and the German all these things come under of French dynasty so French people has given a lot of support for these experiments. The experiments were conducted in four different types or four di different areas. Those areas were single phase AC series commutation commutator motor. 
so by using single phase ac series commutator motor so what are the advantages and disadvantages so that is the experiment conducted by the french government and the second one is trap transformer and rectifiers if we use trap transformer and rectifiers what are the advantages and disadvantages and the third one is grid control on rectifiers if we control the grid and given to rectifiers what are the advantages and disadvantages and the fourth point is phase converter and induction motor so these are the experiment they have conducted the experiments in these four aspects and finally they found that they they have concluded that 16 and 2 by 3 cycle system is the best out of this system ac system with 16 and 2 by 3 cycles is the best so they have concluded with this point in green color green colored point they have concluded and again the the research has been continued and yeah now the french national railways continue the investigation into suitable motive power they want to see the suitable motive power for railways so they have continued the research and finally they have obtained they have done the research in two areas one is unbalancing three phase system and induction effects on communication lines maybe if we use ac system these two are the Uh, definitely these two are the drawbacks in ac so they have conducted the experiments on these things and finally they have given a report in 1951 on potentiality in ac 50 cycle system so what are the advantages in ac 50 cycle system that have been reported by this french government in 1951 and in 1954 itself our indian government has adopted that report and they have obtained that report on on comparative merits and demerits of ac and dc systems so based on that based on the french national railways investigations we have obtained the report in 1954 to modify our railway system according to the old standards so they have taken the report and finally we have concluded that ac system with industrial frequency that means 50 hertz frequency was advantageous in both operationally and economically so this is the final outcome of these experiments and these reports finally what happened so the finally in 1957 railway board decided to adopt 25 kb 50 cycle for all future schemes now this scheme is running in throughout india with this 1972 maybe some other tracks are erected and some other other lines are becoming electrified so all these things finally 3928 root kilometer or about 10200 track kilometer have been electrified that means they may have the older tracks converted to electric electrical or the newer tracks fully electrified or uh, all these things are clubbed up and finally this is the record this is the distance what we have electrified in railway system so with these records and with these achievements our indian india is stood in second position in asia and 11th position in the world the first position in asia is japan so and immediately the second position is asia in railways so this is the achievement of india in indian railways especially in electric traction so all these figures are for electric traction only some other traction system is also there in railways some normal traction system is also there but still as for electricity is concerned that means electric traction is concerned these are the figures and finally we stood in second position in asia and 11th position in the world so this is the complete history of electric traction in india 
yeah if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video please share it with your friends and family and please subscribe to my youtube channel so i like to complete utilization of electrical energy completely within one or two months only and thank you for seeing this video thank you very much